This is the third video in a series of 10 tutorials on how to use the pen tool in Illustrator CC. In the last video, we learned how to use the direct selection tool to change your lines. And in this video, we'll talk about how to adjust a line that you are working on with the Alt and Command keys. Again, a special thanks to Virlu over at virlu.duo.com for supplying this worksheet for us. If you'd like to use the worksheet, there's a link to her website in the description. And this video also goes with the Pen Tool Exercises to Learn Illustrator Tools unit at digitalartteacher.com. So if you're teaching graphic design, you can check out the info bar at the top for more teaching resources. The Alt key is a useful tool for many different applications in Illustrator. You can use it to change the direction of your lines or to adjust the lines and curves you've already made. For example, let's say that I am working on a curvy line and I decide that I want to make my line go in a different direction than my handle is pointing. Anytime I want to create a new anchor point, its direction will always go in whatever direction the handle is pointed. If you want to change that direction, you can hold down Alt, and as I mentioned before, you can click it to delete the handle, or you can click and drag to move your anchor into a new direction. Notice that when you press and hold the Alt key, it looks like the anchor point from your toolbar. This tool and the Alt key essentially do the same thing. You could also go back to previous points and handles and adjust them to be a bit less curvy by holding down the Alt key. If you click an anchor point, you will erase the handles completely. The Alt key works this way with lines that you are currently creating and with lines or shapes that you've already finished. You just need to make sure that you have that shape or line selected before you try to use it. We've already learned that the command key can be used to end a line by pressing it and clicking anywhere outside the line. But this is not the only thing that can be done with it. If you want to move a point or a handle on a line, holding down the command key will help you accomplish this. Similarly, notice that when you hold the command key, your mouse turns into the direct selection tool. Again, holding down the command key or choosing the direct selection tool essentially do the same thing. You may have noticed that there are several different ways to complete tasks in Illustrator, and it's true. The trick is finding the technique that works best for you and becoming the master of it. We're going to move on to the second page in our worksheet. While working through the curved lines with corners section, you're going to start seeing these green dots in the instructions. This means that you're going to click and drag the handle of an existing anchor point. Every time that you do this, you're going to need to hold down Alt or Command. Otherwise, you'll just be creating new anchors. So. With the pen tool selected, click, hold down shift, drag to the two, and click, hold down shift, drag to the four, then you release, hold down alt, and drag it all the way to the five. Click, hold down shift, drag to the seven, release, hold down alt, and drag to the eight. It's the same few things over and over again. While working through the combining curves with straight lines section, pay attention closely to the instructions. They may seem a little confusing at first, but if you read and follow them closely, they'll get you the exact line that you want to create. One thing to note is that you can actually hold down shift the whole time that you're working. And as you work, remember that you can always zoom in to see something more clearly and use the space bar to move the screen as you go. So click, 
hold down shift, drag to the two, and here's where it might seem confusing. Click, hold down shift, drag to the four, release. Now, come back here and click, hold down shift. I'm not pressing down with my mouse right now, just the shift key. And click on the six, release, click and drag to the seven. I still have that shift key held down all the way down to the nine and click and release using the space bar to move my screen. Follow the instructions and hold down shift until you get to the end. While you're working through the curves with corner points section, you may think that it looks a little intimidating, but again, if you follow the instructions closely, it will get you the shapes that you need. And don't forget that when you see the green one, that means you're going to be using Alt on the previous handle to drag to that green dot. And everything is trial and error here, so don't forget our trusted Command Z as you work. And for this last point, you will be holding down Alt as you click so that you can not distort this first curve. One thing to note here is that when you get down to the base of the tree, zoom in really close and click on just the outside of the previous shape. Otherwise, you'll just be adding an anchor point to the previous shape. Now, while working through the curves with corner points and tweaking handles section, you'll note that up to this point, we've been using the Alt key to achieve the instruction, but now you're going to be holding down Command instead. And this is because we're not changing the direction of the handle, only the length of it. Okay, now instead of Alt here, I'm going to select this handle while holding down Command and drag down to the six. And drag out to the eight. And I'm switching then to the Alt key because I am changing the direction of this handle. Click on the 10, drag all the way out to the 11. And now I am not changing the direction. So I'm holding down Command, pulling it down to the 12. And then to end it, click. Now that happened because I was not holding down Alt. See, it says hold down the Alt key. So hold down Alt while I click. That keeps this first line the same. And I drag to the 14 and it is completed. And the worksheet is completed. That concludes the pen tool practice page and armed with these tools and the techniques from the last three videos, you should be able to complete the practice page and be on your way to being a master with a pen tool. And in the next videos, we'll cover a few more techniques for creating specific shapes in Illustrator CC. And remember that if some things become frustrating, that you just need to practice, practice, practice. It takes some time to learn. So try not to get frustrated. Get up and get a drink of water, walk around the room once and come back and try again. So good luck with this and I will see you in the next video.